Hello everyone. I hope uh, that each and every one of you are in good health. It was good to see you at the recent FIFA Congress and I hope to see you in person very soon. I know that uh, the FIFA Congress created a lot of talking points and that is how it should be. FIFA is the home of lively debate and I look forward to your thoughts about the various proposals that were put on the table by your fellow member associations. For all of us who love football, the 27th of May 2015 will forever remain stamped in our memories. On that date, the United States Department of Justice indicted 14 football officials with racketeering, wire fraud and money laundering conspiracies, amongst other offences, in connection with their respective participation in several schemes over the course of 24 years to enrich themselves through the corruption of international football. This was only the beginning of further investigations and prosecutions against former leaders and high-ranking members of our organizations, which have since been ongoing in courts in the United States of America and Switzerland. Since my election in February 2016, I set out, together with all of you, to work for a new FIFA, a global, modern, transparent and reliable football governing body. In the last five years, we have made substantial progress in this direction, which has been acknowledged by several international institutions. Actions speak louder than words. Since 2016, I also set myself the challenge to cooperate as much as possible with the judicial authorities in the ongoing investigations, both in the United States of America and in Switzerland. FIFA had been criminally attacked by those who had a fiduciary duty to protect it. There was no ethical and legal option other than to be close to the competent authorities, offering our full availability for the prosecution of crimes committed by former football officials. FIFA was not involved in those crimes. In fact, it was a victim of those crimes. Today we are reaping the fruits of all this joint collaboration started in 2016 between FIFA, its 211 member associations and the six confederations. In this context, I'm pleased to make this short address to you after the announcement by the United States Department of Justice in relation to the enforcement actions that they initiated back in 2015 in Zurich. I'm delighted to see that money, which was illegally siphoned out of football, 201 million US dollars, is now coming back to be used for its proper purposes, as it should have been in the first place. This is football's money. Now this will return to the FIFA Foundation and via the newly formed World Football Remission Fund, children from all around the world will be able to benefit. This is a great victory for FIFA and a great victory for football. I want to sincerely thank the US Justice Authorities for their efforts in this respect, for their fast and effective approach in bringing these matters to a conclusion, and also for their trust generally. The truth is that, thanks to their intervention back in 2015, we have been able to fundamentally change FIFA from a toxic organization at that time to a highly esteemed and trusted global sports governing body. Thankfully, we are well past the unfortunate period in history now, and it's great to see significant funding being put at the disposal of the FIFA Foundation, which can positively impact so many people 
across the football world, especially through youth and community programs. Since 2016, FIFA and the United States Department of Justice established a close collaboration. And I believe this decision also acknowledges the significant progress we have made in terms of good governance and transparency, all of which was discussed and presented by FIFA officials and by myself in meetings with the authorities. Today, they know that with the FIFA Foundation, this money is in good hands and will serve the purpose it is intended for. On behalf of uh, all future beneficiaries around the world, I would like to thank the US authorities for the trust placed in FIFA and will make sure that these funds are used properly and bring tangible benefits for people who really need it. I expect that everyone watching this will understand the opportunity that this brings to turn the page and to ensure that we continue to protect and develop football for future generations. Our statutes say it, and I know that we all take our responsibility seriously to deliver it. Many thanks for your attention, dear friends. FIFA has turned a page, and with it, football has turned a page. Today is a great day for football, and I look forward to seeing how you all invest in this award to benefit football in our society. Thank you.